can learn from animals. We learn from animals all the time. I do. I learn from them all the time. But there's three places in the Bible that really stand out. And um, one would be God told Moses to make out of brass a, a, a brazen serpent and put it on a pole and, and put it where peop the people in the desert would look to it um, and they'd be healed. Well, that was the first example of uh, anti-venom, wasn't it? You know, when someone gets bit by a snake, you give them a shot of the snake's venom, right? And then the other one would be Moses' staff turning into a serpent. You know, a lot of those snakes around there, wasn't there? And then Jesus told his uh, disciples, before I let you out among these wolves, you need to be as wise as a serpent, but as harmless as a dove. So there's snake examples all over the Bible. You know, Paul got bit by a snake and he just shook it off. He didn't get sick or anything. You know, Jesus told us you 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 handle snakes and and not get hurt. And if someone tries to poison you, it's not going to poison you. It'll go right back on them. If it's not your time to go, so how to be like a serpent? Why is this a serpent? What do serpents do? Well, what I've noticed what they do is they hide a lot. They're they're alone a lot. They're very quiet, uh, very patient, and they can hear. You know snakes can hear. They, can, they don't just uh, smell with their tongues. They hear. They have ears. So, you know, are you?